so cool. It's string. Safety first. I'll switch off all the main. Have my hat on. Pretty sunny today, but the weather is just good. Well, this video, I will show you how to change this J box. And I previously switched off the main already. So first I'll remove the four screw mounting and remove this broken cover. And then I'm gonna change the connector and also the whole box. Let's get started. First thing first, get a screwdriver, remove all four plastic screw, securing the cover. Now this cover tends to be broken by gravel being projected off from the ground when people cut the grass. We have many instances where the front cover is broken. I hope I can just buy the front cover and replace the front cover. Safety first, I'm going to test if there's any current. Alright, there's no beep sound. There's a snail inside. Well, it's all rusted, so I'm going to just cut it off. Oh, it's brittle. Oh, it's, there's a big hole here. Rusted. Uh, this is armor cable. I'm going to use 4D oil and clean this. Remove the 5mm screw. There's a mosquito out here. It comes off. All rusted. This M5 screw. Oh. Next, I'm going to make a 28mm hole by using a hole saw. This is to allow the cable gland to go through. Yeah, I think it fits quite well. So I'm going to use one of this cable gland, a big one. But before that, I must uh, clean off this earth wire. It's rusted. Just sit for maybe a while. It'll be nice if I have sandpaper. This surface is quite rough, so probably I can. Oh, luckily, the owner is here and he gave me some sandpaper to use. Then next, I'm going to use a brush to brush out the residue and uh, followed by the nut. Just tighten the nut. This uh, cable gland comes with an O-ring. Next, I'm going to find out where is the position of the M5 mounting screw. So I'm going to mask the position by using a marker pen. There you go. One, two. Then I'm going to drill, use an M5 drill bit to get two holes for the M5 mounting screw. Then I'm going to make an entrance through the cable gland, draw across one and two so that the wire can be fit through this hole. I found it easier if I install this cable gland onto the cable first, fit it through first, all the way down through this armor cable then tighten the screw, then only I install the uh, junction box here. Next, I just need to fit through the wire into the uh, junction box, turn it clockwise, and then followed by the nut. I just need to tighten this nut to secure this cable gland together with this junction box. Next, I'm going to connect the wire. It's color-coded, red to red, yellow to yellow, blue is to blue. The last one, this is for neutral, right? Then um, this is actually 20 m connector, outdoor connector, meant to withstand high temperature so that it won't become brittle and it should last longer in return. Next, then I'm going to connect the uh, wiring for the pedestal lamp. Uh, blue is to the black color and brown is to any one of this red color wire. It's actually three-phase wiring. So it should work. Um, then I'm going to connect this uh, M5 square nut to secure this junction box into place. One down there, another one up here. And then I'm done. I just need to push this wire inwards. I've reconnect the wires. Red, yellow, blue, all three would have live. Three-phase wiring. I install the cable gland, secure the box, and then I've just tested out they are current coming in, then uh, I'm good to go. A new junction box with cable gland properly installed. First time watching a video, kindly subscribe to my channel, press the bell button two times.
so they get notified of my new video and appreciate your thumbs up. Until then, see you in my next video. Bye!